Hey guys, welcome to my office. I'm really excited about this project. So like a lot of you, I'm, I'm a big James Bond fan. And in this latest movie, No Time to Die, there's a scene that happens in the blink of an eye when Bond is over at Q's apartment. And I'll include the video clip here. But the actual artwork looks like that. And I thought it was really cool. It could also be a sound diffuser. That was sort of a question I had in my mind. And for a lot of people that have home offices with studios, and this is kind of a quasi movie studio, a sound diffuser is a great thing to have. And I'm not an acoustic engineer, so I know there's some higher math that goes into creating a quality sound diffuser. So my attitude here was, it's about the art, and if it happens to have sound diffusing qualities, that's great, but I'm not going to get overly concerned if it doesn't. So there is some freeware out there called SketchUp, and it does come with subscription-based packages that have more bells and whistles, and I wanted to use the freeware version of SketchUp to see if I could recreate this art, and I'm going to walk you through how I did that and it was a good use case for me to learn SketchUp because that might have some other applications down the road but hope you'll stick around and watch the end of the video thanks all right you can see how fast that movie clip was so luckily somebody out read it went and took a screenshot of it and I had to toggle back and forth between SketchUp and this particular image here just to make sure that I was tracking correctly so in a minute here you'll see the screenshot that I used to toggle back and forth with yeah so if you want to get a SketchUp account it's free there are paid plans that have more bells and whistles but you'll just go to the personal section and then sign up with an email address so it's pretty straightforward and the left hand side has all the menus and it's pretty intuitive once you start using it a little bit, but uh, in my case, I know I needed a rectangle, so I just chose the rectangle object, and then it's basically just drag and drop and size it to the dimensions that you want, and this push-pull function, put your cursor on there, and you can pull it up or down to give it some depth. And the other function that was really helpful was the pencil. Basically, it'll tell you when you're on the midpoint, so if you're trying to get all the squares to be the exact same dimensions then you can start with the midpoint and it'll let you know when you're at the midpoint in this case i kept drawing lines horizontally and then i switched to the vertical mode and then just kept finding the midpoints each time and if you don't find the exact midpoint i think for this exercise it's fine it was mostly just a conceptual drawing more than anything else and then this push pull now they all act as individual squares which is really helpful and there's an inference function that will enable you to have two sizes of the same height you basically just drag your mouse over to one that you want to infer the height from and then they all become the same height it did take a little bit of playing around with that to figure it out and the order in which you did the inference was important always started from the smallest one to the largest one so so now that we've done the miniature sound diffuser hopefully you have a better idea of how to do it and so i'm going to speed through some of this and hopefully it's going to be pretty intuitive but yeah this was really fun and a great project to do while the weather was sour and enabled me to use my new home office studio for something other than work work so yeah check it out Bond, James Bond.